I'm scared. And I'm <clears throat> unsure what to do. I've been trying to build up my channel for a while. Um, I know I haven't uploaded a lot since 2016. You know, I'm only at, uh, I'm not even at the 50 video mark yet. And I'm currently playing this, right? It's, you know, it's rated E for everyone. Not just, not just kids, by the way. E for everyone. And I'm doing that right now, and I've been really trying to, uh, you know, watch my mouth um, to not, you know, not cussing it because of the fact that it might, you know, it might, it might attract kids, you know, from what, from what I'm playing. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, swear at, uh, uh, children. What if I, what if I had said in one of my, uh, cartoon videos, right? Uh, so SpongeBob's cartoon, right? If I said fuck in one of those videos, is that is that okay for kids or no? Even PG thirteen movies are allowed. I think one f bomb, and I'm scared because there's a law which I had overlooked. I didn't know how serious it was, but I've been watching videos nonstop about this, and uh, I even signed the petition down in the description. Please follow that link. It's very important. You need to be informed on this kind of stuff. I'll leave. Uh, I'll, I'll find some links to some other channels, uh, including the game theorists, um, who have. A pretty decent video on this as well. Um, I'm talking about the COPPA law. And I feel compelled to talk about it because it affects all of the content creators on YouTube. And it's scary. It's scary because sometimes I have a, a general audience. Um, you know, I don't know who watches my videos. I'm very, very small. I'm like, I'm this big on YouTube. I'm this big on YouTube. I'm, I'm nothing. But if we don't change something now, I might literally be nothing. I might not have a channel at all. And, you know, it's something that I like doing. You know, I like uh, I like creating. I like making things. And, you know, this was an outlet for me. And pretty soon it's going to it's going to end up not being anything if if we don't act on it. And if you're not aware of what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Kappa is a uh, child uh, protection agency or something, um, you know, to protect them. I think it's Child Online Protection something. I don't know what it stands for. Um, but they're to protect kids, kids who are people under the age of 13. So uh, kids under the age of 13 or 13 and under, whatever, from advertisers collecting data on them, like what kind of cereals they they eat or whatever, you know, um, they can't gather that data. And we, as content creators, are forced to choose between our entire channel. Yes, I make content for children all the time. My whole channel is made for kids. And then no... My channel is not made for kids. Or there's a third option. You can go through every video and select, oh, this is made for kids, this is made for kids, this is not made for kids, this is not made for kids, and et cetera, et cetera. And you decide for yourself. We, as content creators, decide for ourselves. And if we're incorrect, the FTC can fine us over $40,000. I can't afford that. I can't afford that. That's why I'm so scared. I don't know if I should private my videos or what. You know, I don't know if I should delete the channel. I might just private it until see what happens with the petition and, uh, you know, assign it to for them to be more specific on what's going on. You know, because it, it's not just a yes or no. It's not just a yes, there's there's kids content and, and no, this is not meant for kids. You know, it, there's a middleman. You know, where you're watching, uh, uh, let's say, South Park or something, right? It's animated. It's bright. It's colorful. There's cartoon characters. It is not meant for kids. It is not meant for kids. It's actually intended for adults. But adults can enjoy cartoons, too. So even if it is not meant for kids, I mean, kids are still going to find it anyway. 
Uh, and and that's what personally me, I think the parents should be responsible for for controlling what the kids watch, but they can't be there all the time. That's it's not going to be it's not going to be a uh, um, uh, foolproof, you know. Um, but what YouTube should have done, what they didn't do, it's not it's not it's not YouTube. Um, uh, they screwed up. They screwed up with some sort of uh, uh, they weren't following the COPPA law, which has been around apparently since 1998. Um, they would did not follow. Uh, the regulations of COPPA and were collecting data from people under the age of 13 um, for advertising, um, which they do with everyone else. You know, that's what Amazon does. You know, Amazon, yeah, big companies, Apple, everybody tracks what you do and all your data and your products that you buy at the store, whatever, or online. And the thing is, the thing is, YouTube just said, Okay, well, it's up to all of our content creators to choose, you know, what audience, you know, what kind of videos they're creating, and you know where where their videos uh, um, are are displayed to, you know, what what age group. But if we get something incorrect, like I, I have I forty six videos, and that's and that's a lot to go through, but that's nothing compared to you know what Markiplier or uh, PewDiePie. Uh, or, or Dashy, or uh, or MatPat, or whoever you know, to 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 go through. You know, that's nothing. That's nothing. The 46, 47 videos that I have is nothing. Each each video. This goes into effect in January. If this goes uh, January of twenty twenty. If I'm going through every video and they're a half hour long, like I can't look, just dude, like that's it's so much time. Like going through because I can't remember whether or not I said an f bomb in in some part or I made it some adult joke, you know, about about the booty or something. Because y'all know, y'all know, I love the booty. You know, I talk about the booty in my videos. I don't care. I don't care. They're my videos. It's what I'm making. You know, and if that if that attracts, um, d you know, different age groups, that that's that's not my problem. That's not my problem. I'm not directing any of my videos at kids under 13 just because i'm playing a spongebob game i was born 1996 okay i played this game in 2002 2003 when, you know it came out in 2002 and whenever you know i played it when it came out it's nostalgic this came out the year i was born 1996 and i want to play that on the channel my fucking phone i don't have time for my phone right now and it's, you know, it's, um, it's frustrating. It's frustrating as all hell. If I play that green eggs and ham game on the channel, that's bright. It's colorful. Yeah, generally, that's, that's something directed towards kids. Green eggs and ham, that's easy enough for them to understand, you know, stuff like that. You know, I would probably watch my language in that video because that's just a, that's just a moral, um, uh, mentality that I have. You know, I, I, I don't think that something like that, that could attract kids, it should have swearing in it, you know, and I probably, even if I, I find myself slip up, I probably edit it out, but that's the problem. I can't go through all of my videos, especially ones that are already posted, and edit the videos where I swear or something, you know, edit it out, you know, it's just a, it's a huge problem, and here's the thing, if it is indeed meant for kids, which is under the age of 13, you mark it meant for kids, and it happens to be meant for kids and the FTC reviews that because they're reviewing all, uh, all the you know they I don't know if they got a, some sort of FTC bot or something that goes through all the YouTube videos if indeed they find out that yes you know, it, it, it is indeed meant for kids you know it's a, uh, a green eggs and ham okay and I'm playing the game and I'm you know giving com commentary and I'm being funny and you know whatnot I don't swear and it's meant for kids and I mark it meant for kids and they're like okay well yes this this is okay it's meant for kids I don't. I can't monetize my videos right now because I don't have enough subscribers or views or watch time or whatever. But let's say I did. Let's say I had like five hundred thousand subscribers. If indeed that video did well and had a lot of views, the Green Eggs and Ham video. If indeed that video did well, I make ninety percent less profit on that video than if it were not made for kids. And comments are disabled. So no grown-ups or whatever can get in the comments and say, you know, adult things or whatever, you know. And it's just to protect kids. You know, That's what the agency's for. That's what uh, uh, the FTC created COPPA. They created COPPA for that reason. Here's the issue. And I don't know why YouTube didn't do this. I started talking about this earlier and I, I got sidetracked. 
because it's very easy to get sidetracked on this stuff because it's it's just a whole it's a it's a mess man it's a mess what youtube should have done because i wasn't aware that there was a youtube kids because i don't i come on i i don't use a smartphone this is my phone you know this is this is what i use and i'm comfortable with that i'm fine with that i do have social media um i you know i use youtube all the time i watch youtube videos you know uh occasionally i'll you know I'll watch tv because i don't have cable because i can't afford cable because you know that's why the forty thousand fine you know i don't even have that money i don't even have forty thousand dollars um, and it could be more than that. It could be up to like $42,540 or something like that. You know, if you get fined per video, it's not just a one-time charge and then they terminate your channel, you know, if you're in violation of it because they're so vague about it. And you can you can look up wh exactly what they're what they're talking about, the, the, the specifications of what they consider uh, kids' videos. Kids' videos is like bright, colorful animations, uh, you know, talking about like uh, cereals and stuff that, that kids eat, like like grown-ups don't eat cereal, you know, and uh, it says cartoon characters, okay, uh, Futurama, South Park, uh, The Simpsons, Family Guy, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, you know, there's so many uh, restricted cartoons out there that could attract kids, like when I was a kid, I was watching that kind of stuff, you know, uh, Beavis and Butthead. That's obviously not meant for kids. You know, they're 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 goofs, and yeah, they don't swear a whole lot. But uh, it shows blood in in there, and um, there's sexual references in that show. You know, uh, just all kinds of different things that aren't meant for kids. You know, and my channel is even heavily based on The Sims, which is a rated T game, um, which is fine. But kids might want to watch something like that. I, how how do I know? How do I know what? what's gonna attract and and uh uh not attract kids to my videos how am i how am i supposed to be responsible for that you know um you know i wanted to play i wanted to play spyro look i have spyro right here i still get the the trilogy set that my brother loaned to me and uh i'm afraid to play it now i'm afraid to play the, the green eggs and ham thing because spyro i grew up with spyro that's 1998 that that came out and i want to play those games for nostalgic's sake, and you know, I found 1972 Pong, um, which that's a game, and apparently games are considered for kids only. And if they even say sports, sports. I mean, if I see, I don't, I don't fuck with the sports stuff, but even sports. If your videos are about sports, sorry, it's meant for kids. And then that means what? 90% less profit. That you can't. That that video won't be searchable. It won't have comment sections. It you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There's so many. Oh, it pisses me off. It pisses me off because I just want to make videos for everybody. If some kids watch my videos, that's not that's not what they're meant for. They're not meant for kids. You know, if I swear, sorry, that's it's not directed at, at kids under 13. The parents should be watching. The parents should have filters on on uh, you know every kid's got like an iPhone, an iPad, or whatever you know some sort of tablet because that's the way things are now. And even if that stuff is taken away from them. They're still gonna find you know have a friend at school or something, or go go to the uh, the the school library or, or even a public library, which I doubt now nowadays. Um, and they'll have a friend that's got internet access on their phone, and you know they'll watch uh, PewDiePie videos or whatever, and um, you know the, his Minecraft stuff or whatever, and maybe he'll curse in it. Then what? You know then then the FTC goes after him. Even when I was a kid. Uh, there's a uh, 2003, one of my favorite games, War of the Monsters, a PlayStation 2 game. It's rated T because it has violence in it. And I think that's the only reason it's rated T because it says violence in there. Um, that's not meant for kids. It's not meant for kids. I was a kid. When that came out, I was, uh, I was around seven or eight when we were playing that. Maybe nine if we got it the year after or, or two years after that, that release date. You know, I was about eight or nine when when i was playing that game that's well under the age of 13 and i'm playing a teenage game which is like what 16 and up 15 and up whatever i i don't know how uh esrb does their uh, their ratings or whatever but uh yeah that's not meant for kids and i was playing that and uh you know your parents go to work right you know uh kids parents they they leave for the day and and when a kid comes home from school you know they hop on that video game that they're not supposed to play uh, you know there's 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 access to all that kind of stuff it's all that kind of stuff. And there's a YouTube Kids, which I didn't even know um, because I'm not a kid. Like, I don't have kids. You know, I, I live with a cat. And that's the other thing. 
If you have animals in your videos, apparently that's directed toward kids. Like, because my cat ends up in the background. She's not here now, but if she ends up in the background, like on my bed or something, what? That's made for kids now? And if I say fuck in that video, then what? You know, that where it is that it's not meant for kids, but it has kid-like things in it because it has a cat. But can't be meant for kids because it says fuck in it. That doesn't make sense. And it's either yes or no with this. There's no, well, this is sort of in between. You know, like, it's not meant for kids, but, you know, it, it, you know, could attract children, you know, or whatever. There's nothing, there's nothing like that, you know. And I'm just so frustrated. I can't, I can't even say what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say, this is my proposal anyway. Sign that petition, by the way. Just pause the video. Come back to this video. Open that petition in another link. Make it quick. It's a, it's a change.org. It's a safe link, I promise. Follow that petition. And check out those other videos, too. Just pause this video right now and 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 sign that petition and then come back to this video. And then after this video, you can check out the, the other links to the other, the other shits because it's good information. It's good information. You need to inform yourself on this because this affects everybody on this platform, not just the creators, but people. What's going to happen to the family-friendly uh, family creators, they're going to start creating more adult content so they can keep making money because 90% less profit is not going to be enough to support their channel and, and do what they do as a career or a, you know, a job or career if you want to call it that for, uh, for YouTube because YouTube's technically a career, I guess. Um, and that's going to change. That's going to change everything. Um, and then we're not going to have kids content that's made for kids. And why 90% less profit? I don't know. I don't know. I must be missing something. But that doesn't make sense to me. My proposal was the same with like uh, porn sites, right? Not all porn sites. I mean, the porn sites that I have visited, I haven't seen this message in a long time where you have to be 18. Maybe it's because I'm logged into Google. I don't know. And But... Uh, there's a, you have to be 18 or older to enter this site. Yes, I'm 18. No, I'm not. And, and then if you click, no, I'm not, it sends you, you know, back to Google or whatever, you know, or uh, it gives you an, a message that says, you sorry, come back, you know, on your 18th birthday or whatever. You know, obviously a kid's not going to go like, oh, yeah, well, I'm not 18. So I'm going to click no. And then, and then leave. They're like, oh, this isn't meant for me because you have to be 18 or older, but I'm not, I'm 14, but they're going to go anyway. And is that our is that our fault as content creators? No, no. The, 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 I, I do not live with that child. I do not live with that child. That's not my fault. Okay. I just want to say that, and I think that's pretty obvious. Um, but the other thing is that when you log on to YouTube, and if you're, it, let's say my SpongeBob video is not meant for kids, I would just mark my whole channel not meant for kids because I don't even want to deal with that. Okay, that's not my fault. And it sucks because, you know, there, there could be some some people under age, under the age of 13, that could enjoy me playing a 2002 SpongeBob game that was probably even before they were born, you know, um, or right around the, the time when they were born or whatever. Um, and they might enjoy that because they never played it as a kid because I think it's meant for, like, Windows 98 and Windows XP. Yeah, Windows 98, ME... Microsoft Essentials, I'm not sure what that stands for, and X, XP. However, it does run on Windows 10, so I'm happy about that. But there's a lot of people, a lot of kids underage that don't know that that game even exists, you know? And that sucks that I can't I can't show them that because uh, if if I slip up in the video or something or I make an adult joke, is because that's what I do on my channel. That's that's my personality on this channel, and I don't want to alter that for, for videos to comply with some law. I think that's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. And um, that's a damn shame. But when you log on to YouTube, let's just say that was a family-friendly, or let's just say that was not meant made for kids. Let's just say none of my content's made for kids. And somebody signs on to see one of my videos, right? Because every time you upload a video, you have the choice, yes or no, made for kids, not made for kids. You have to go through all of your videos to comply with the law. It is the law now. It, or at least it's going to be in January. It's set in motion. Um, so YouTube's making you decide on your own. Let's say a 12 year old, right? That's under the age of 13. A 12 year old gets on YouTube, finds one of my videos. It should not work. It should say, sorry, you're not, you're not of age. You're, you're not at least 14 or at least, you know, 13 and up or whatever it is. Um, it should not work. There should be an age gate. There should be a filter. 
you should have to log in to YouTube to use the platform. If this is where we're heading, this is where we're heading. Everybody, everybody's got an email address. Nowadays, it's 2019, it's almost 2020, everybody has an email address. To sign up for uh, anything, uh, if you have a, um, uh, a Steam account, you have an email address. If you have um, an Origin account, you have an email address. If you have an eBay account, or if you have a PayPal account, you have an email address. If you have an Amazon account, you have an email address. If you buy something from Walmart or Target.com, you need an account. I don't, I don't think they'll let you log in as a guest. I don't think I don't think you can even do that now. Uh, there might be some sites that let you do that, but most mo most everywhere you need an email address. So it's very simple. It's free for a YouTube account. It's free for a Google account. Whatever. Sign up. You know, put your real age in. You know, of course, there's there's going to be ways around that. There's going to be kids that can lie, but th my proposal is uh, to help protect the kids from you know what cop is saying an age gate for when you log on you have to confirm your age you have to put your real birthday you know from when you make your account right so if they see one of my videos and they're 12 it's not gonna work if it's made for kids then it'll work and i want to make it very clear that my channel is not made for kids nothing on my channel is made for kids it's not intended for that age group it's for everybody it's for everybody however if there's something in 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 my videos because sometimes i cuss sometimes i don't most of the times i do you know if i'm playing like grand theft auto or something you know with my buddy uzi we we swore a lot in that video right that game's not meant for kids anyway that i think that version i think that version hang on one second i'm gonna find it this version of grand theft auto is rated M. It's rated M by ESRB. That's not meant for kids. And it says mature, 17 and up. And you can see that, 17 and up. However, even this one, it's still Grand Theft Auto. I have Grand Theft Auto 2 for PlayStation 1. As you can see, it's rated T. I want to play this game, and I don't even know if I'm ever going to get to it on the channel at least. Because I've never played it. And I want to do the first one as well, which I believe is rated T. Uh, because of the concept. You're, it's theft. You know, it's it's stealing. And uh, there's drug references. I think that's why that's why the third one is, is probably... Let's see. Let's see why. This is the second one. It's rated T because it has animated violence, strong language, and suggestive themes. I would think that the strong language would send it over to M. But it doesn't. Um, and then... In Grand Theft Auto 3, we just have violence, blood, and strong language. That game is not meant for kids. But kids watch your Grand Theft Auto video, Grand Theft Auto 5, you know, Grand Theft Auto 4, whatever. You know, they're, they're watching these videos anyway. But they should not have access to those to that content. I agree. I agree. I agree. You know, they, they should be, you know, and once, once you get out of that age, you know, um, you know, when you're 14 and up, then... You, you, well, you're outside the law now, so it doesn't matter. You know, you're 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 free in a way. If you are 14 and up, you're open to everything. You could watch kids' content if you want to, and something that's mature, f fine, watch it. You know, and uh, you know just to just to comply with the uh, the COPPA, the COPPA law and, and regulation, whatever. But YouTube didn't do that, and that's why it's kind of scary because I'm in my first episode of the spongebob game uh chapter two is on its way it's going to be next friday because i have it set for that because i'm trying to upload once a week um i don't know how long that's even gonna last like i don't even want to record content now because I, I feel like it's just going to be a waste um but anyway the first episode i tried not to cuss a whole lot but as i watched it back i did say the word bitch in it once one time one time it's not an f-bomb or anything but it's still you know and it's a spongebob game i don't know whether or not i should market for kids or not for kids because of that one thing and i i think there is uh you know some butt references in there you know booty references whatever uh not necessarily anal sex i don't think um but maybe maybe i don't know it can be misconstrued or whatever um which is an adult joke why can't why can't people 
14 and up. Okay, let's just say. I'm not going to call them adults, but technically they're not kids because kids is considered 13 and, and younger or younger than 13 or 12 and younger or whatever it is. Why can't 14 and up enjoy that too? Why can't they enjoy SpongeBob? You know, and with a little, little, a little bit of swearing, you know, I say bitch, you know, yeah, I, like I said, PG 13s are allowed one F bomb too. A lot of the time they don't use it, but, uh, think about that. Think about the gray area. Think about channels like me that are in that gray area. You know, like the Sims, how is that attractive to kids? You know, is it animated? It is a video game. It is a video game. It is rated T. So it's not, it's not meant for kids. The game itself is not even intended for children. Um, I don't even know where the cutoff is. When it says T, see on the on this Grand Theft Auto, it doesn't even say an age group, and on the back it doesn't either. They need there needs to be an age gate. If we're gonna have COPPA and we're we're all gonna be compliant to it, there needs to be an age gate. Just like any other porn site, there there's an age gate, and it, yeah, sure it it might not be enforced properly uh, because anyone can really get on there. But um, maybe you should change that. Maybe you should make it to where you have to log in. Not necessarily make an account, but maybe you have to provide your uh, uh, your birth date or whatever. If you don't have an account, like it, let's say you don't have an email address or something, maybe you have to provide uh, um, your your email, your, your, your birth date, right? And if you're under the age of uh, uh, 13, maybe you have to get a parent or legal guardian uh, a legal ID number or something. Maybe you have to punch that in or whatever. The the your driver's license ID or whatever um, from a, a legal guardian. Um, and if it's and if it's a valid ID, it'll let you in. You know. Um, or if if you're you know I don't know. I mean, this is just thoughts. This is just thoughts. This I don't know how many people are gonna see this video. Hopefully enough. Hopefully enough because I don't have a lot of followers on here. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but hopefully people will find this video. I'm going to try not to edit too much of this video because I want to get it out as soon as possible because it takes a while for my um, software to render the video. So if this isn't the highest quality video, I apologize. I'm probably going to put it in 480 uh, so we can just get it out. So anyway, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know where YouTube's going to go. I mean, it's, it's going to change. It's going to change. And not enough people even care not not even an, i posted about this on my facebook i even wrote to the regulations.org i wrote a comment a bit nice big comment and um no one cares i posted that to facebook and and the petition link and no one cares no one cares and they don't realize it they don't realize it's going to happen but hopefully you do. So that's all I'm going to say.